What's up guys, it's me Jeremy and welcome to my guide on trading or harassing during the laning phase. This is a huge part of the laning phase and is a big factor in getting you kills. So let's jump right into it. There are two major parts to understand before going in for a trade. The status of the lane and the status of the player's resources. Let's go over the status of the lane first. This is pretty much just the status of the minions in the lane, especially the friendly minions. You don't want to trade if it is going to make you miss multiple CS, and you do want to trade if it is going to make your opponent miss multiple CS. Minion aggro is a huge factor in deciding who wins a trade, so you can't just jump in and take a bunch of damage from the minions, or you will probably lose that trade. You want the lane to be in a position where you can take little to no minion damage when you go in for a trade. Taking a small amount of minion damage is usually okay though. Now for the resources of a player. This is pretty much just the resource bar if they have one, and the cooldowns on their spells. If your opponent's resource bar is lacking, for example if they are out of mana, it is a great idea for you to trade, as long as your resource bar isn't lacking, because they will not be able to output their full trading potential onto you, while you'll be able to put your full trading potential onto them. It is also very important to know the cooldowns on your opponent's spells, so that if they waste or miss any amount of their spells, you know the window that you have to play super aggressive and force a trade. This is a huge factor in beating skillshot champions. If you can dodge one or more of their skills and then go in for a trade, it should be easily won as long as you don't take too much minion damage. Don't forget to pay attention to your resources too, because if you are out of mana, your opponent can start playing aggressive on you and easily win trades, so it's best to avoid getting out of mana in the first place. Be careful if you accidentally waste or miss a spell, because then you will likely lose a trade if one occurs. One important thing to note about trading is that if you have absolutely zero idea where the enemy jungler is and you have no wards, it is a very bad idea to trade, because you can easily get baited into a fight where the jungler shows up and then you're pretty much dead. Having vision of the river is a very good idea when trading aggressively. When going in for a trade, you want to avoid as much of your opponent's damage as possible. Be ready to dodge skill shots and do your best to hit yours. Unload your damage and then back off to avoid taking too much damage, but be careful not to get kited. It is often a good idea after a trade to immediately run into a bush that you know isn't warded to avoid free attacks and minion damage onto you. An important thing to note is that you should never let your opponents get free damage onto you. If they hit you, you must hit them back, or you will almost definitely lose your lane if this happens multiple times. In some situations, it is impossible to avoid getting hit by an auto attack or two, but if you get hit by a skill without hitting back, that is not good and you should not let it happen. My last point about trading comes down to understanding your matchup. If you understand your matchup, you should know if you want to start the trade first or wait for your opponent to hit you, and then you counterattack. For example, if I am playing against Kassadin and I want to win trades, I need to go in first so that I can get my damage off before he silences me. So that's it for my guide on trading. I'd love it if you guys could support me with a like or some feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.